Alright, hello citizens of the Nigerverse. It is Nigeria once again, and this is going to be another wrestling review. So, oh, uh, because King of the Ring is coming up on Saturday, I figured I'd go back in the vault and look at, and maybe not a King of the Ring match, more so like a uh, match within the King of the Ring tournament, and uh, maybe I'll do that next year or so if they if they do decide to keep King of the Ring in annual tradition, which I, th I think they should. Uh, but, but I decided I would look back at a uh, match that happened at King of the Ring. And, uh, and now, I've previously on the channel looked at uh, Undertaker versus Mankind, the uh, infamous Hell in a Cell match at uh, King of the Ring 1998. It, uh, one of the most replayed moments, uh, honestly, like three of the most replayed moments in history. One of like, the most iconic matches in history, of course. Uh, but they weren't the only ones. Uh, King of the Ring seems to have, have kind of a history of people being maimed at it. And one of those people was the boss's own son. I'm, of course, talking about King of the Ring 2001 as Kurt Angle goes one-on-one -on -one with Shane O'Mac, Shane McMahon. So, as always, I'm not professional, not professional uh, wrestling viewer analyst or anything like that. Just a man who enjoys a good time. And I, I would say, I uh, had a pr a pretty uh, pretty solid time for the most part. Like, like this, uh, this definitely has as uh, some iconic moments as well. Oh, some for kind of the wrong reasons, and we'll we'll find out. But if you've seen these reviews of mine before, you kind of you know this works. If you haven't, gonna be talking about what I liked and disliked about uh, the match. And, uh, so starting with what I liked, uh, I, uh, I think I think both men definitely played to their strengths. Kurt Angle, of course, being the Olympic gold medalist, the Olympic hero, oh, very much much uh, technical in uh, that aspect, I doing a lot of suplexes and throws and stuff like that. Shane. Nowhere near that, but he never really had to be. He, uh, Shane always more of a fighter, more of a scrap happer, always very scrappy and resourceful. And Shane, uh, Shane being able to uh, utilize that and definitely helped out here. And and this match is a nose qualification match, and really the story had been going on throughout the night. So Kurt Angle also was involved in this year's King of the Ring tournament. Uh, this year was won by Edge, Edge uh, ultimately, but. So Kurt Angle essentially had to wrestle two other matches. Shane helped Kurt uh, win in the first match. Then he cost Kurt the uh, the King of the Ring. Ultimately, he uh, so well, this match with Shane was happening regardless, like no matter what. But uh, uh, with Shane helping out Kurt and then costing Kurt, uh, essentially he ensured that Kurt had all three matches. Is uh is uh here tonight. So well, Kurt had to pull triple duty. Not the last time Kurt Angle would pull triple duty on a pay per view, but but uh so Kurt Angle well, uh oh a bit banged up from the other matches. So Shane and uh, even before the and using that resourcefulness his, uh, in the other matches as well, leading into this match. But but uh, within the confines of this match, uh, definitely using that resourcefulness, uh, being able to. Uh, <clears throat> Being able to try to hold his own against Kurt Angle, maybe not from a technical standpoint, but at the very least, he's uh, staying in the fight. And with it being no disqualification, uh, being able to use weapons such as uh, the trash can and trash can lid, stop signs, stuff like that. Even Shaman Man going for her shooting star press, no coast to coast this time, but uh, going for a shooting star press on Kurt landing on the trash can. Not the last time somebody would attempt a shooting star press on Kurt, except thankfully Shane had a much softer landing than Brock. Lesnar did at WrestleMania 19, but uh, nevertheless, and, uh, so oh, uh, oh, uh, in those regards, are uh, uh, <clears throat> making for an interesting contest there. But then, and things make their way to the outside, and that's where the real fun begins. And admittedly, fun is kind of in quotation marks. Right, so, oh, there's the spot, uh, uh, the, the infamous spot, the spot I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for me to talk about. Oh, uh, oh, Kurt Angle suplexing Shane McMahon through the glass panel holes uh, on the stage. Hey, uh, hey, uh, he suplexed him on the inside of like the glass panels in that uh, section within, and then uh, and uh, tries suplexing Shane through the other set of glass at four, just hucking Shane through. Ooh, so, oh, uh, the story goes that glass uh, wasn't supposed to be. Uh, that glass was the wrong glass. So, oh, originally it was supposed to be the sugar glass that had been like the easily breakable glass that had uh, they used for the props and everything. But uh, unfortunately, because uh, the sugar glass wouldn't be able to withstand the pyro and everything, and uh, they just used the regular glass. 
contest. The two people that they forgot to notify about that was Shane McMahon and Kurt Angle. So, oh, Kurt suplexes, uh, attempts to suplex Shane. It's like an overhead uh, at uh, belly to belly. He uh, tries to throw Shane through the glass. It does not break. Hey, uh, but at Shane's bones, almost dude, who like a like, definitely, definitely like a hard sound. And uh, Shane, Shane uh, I think, I think it was Shane who told Kurt like, screw it, just throw me through again. And, and Kurt, Kurt obliged and just hucked Shane through the glass the second time it broke. But then when they were in the inside, Kurt tried the suplex again. And, and this time the glass didn't give way, so Kurt just hucked Shane through the glass and it gave way and broke. And from there, both men are just gushing blood, like, like definitely covered in the glass and everything. <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, now, apparently Vince also was tempted to come out and stop the match because uh, as, uh, as uh, these two were, were getting maimed, especially his own son, his own uh, flesh and blood. Uh, these two were uh, these two were getting maimed and stuff by the glass. Ultimately, that did not happen. But it's funny, J.A.R. brought up a commentary like he, uh, within kayfabe that had uh, because earlier on this year at WrestleMania, uh, Vince McMahon fought Shane. Uh, and uh, this was uh, after the WCW buyout and Shane McMahon in kayfabe brought WCW from under Vince's nose. So J.R. Said, and uh, and uh, even even despite uh, like even despite their hatred hit uh, or I'm I'm kind of paraphrasing here even despite their hatred Vince can't be happy about oh seeing his own flesh and blood get hurt oh Jr you don't know the half of it but yeah so that's why like it definitely makes for her iconic moments and Shane definitely is a madman for taking that spot like like all the respect in the world to Shane he may not be a technical master but he never really needs to be especially with uh, crazy stunts and stuff like that but uh, it is it is definitely a, ooh, like, like thankfully he uh Shane wasn't super hurt if I'm, hurt if I'm not mistaken uh and uh, I think I think, I think Shane just had a concussion, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, please let me know if I'm wrong about that in the comments. But, but yeah, so oh, uh, it did look pretty nasty. And ultimately, Kurt putting Shane away with a, uh, in kind of a cool way, he putting a board on the top rope, then a super angle slam off the uh, off the board or that was placed it's on the rope. Hopes, uh, hopes to put Shane on the mat and put him away. Hate to end the match. So definitely all the props in the world well, to these two for being able to put on like a solid enough encounter uh, or, uh, despite the spot and despite hey, them being uh, very much hurt from it, it, uh, it uh, they still went through with it hit, and they, uh, they definitely delivered her, uh, her uh, props to Kerr for going uh, triple duty props to Shane for taking the suplexes and like the hucks through the glass even though oh, in hindsight it, it almost gets pretty hard to watch uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah so definitely props Props to both guys. Uh, in terms of what I didn't quite like about the match, uh, admittedly, going through the glass is kind of a double-edged sword because, uh, on one hand, and uh, on one hand, it makes for a cool moment and uh, some cool moments. But on the other hand, and man, uh, and uh, Shane could have been seriously hurt. Shane, Shane almost could have died uh, it, uh, if if thrown a little too hard. But but. Uh, 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 but I uh, uh, think we didn't. But it does get it does get kind of uncomfortable. Well, admittedly, like, like just like just the sound, just the thud of Shane getting smacked into the, into the glass. Like like uh, you'll just feel like like the amount that you'll wince is insane. Hey, like hey, again, all the props in the world for them going through with that hat in the first place. But yeah, it it does get a little tricky to watch knowing that it wasn't supposed to happen like that. It wasn't supposed to be that way. Like like uh, admittedly, he, uh, I think they probably should have of uh like if, if that was an issue where the glass wouldn't be able to that that being the sugar glass that is wouldn't be able to withstand the pyro then just have them do something else like hey like, uh either that or or probably just keep the uh keep the pyro somewhere else maybe keep the pyro to a minimum um so that they can still go through like the sugar glass and stuff but otherwise like if that was an issue definitely have them do something else and granted i know different times stuff like that and and, and of course uh, both men survived i uh, but i still it's it's uh it's uh ugh, it definitely is is a bit rough to watch in that regard so oh, that's why i kind of call it a double-edged sword because it's cool well, uh like it makes for a cool moment a cool visual and, sh and uh, shane's a madman for going through with that and uh I, but and, uh but yeah shane could have been seriously hurt but uh, sadly that's the nature of the business but nevertheless that's going to do it for this review thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed uh, if you did please do me a favor like comment subscribe share with your friends and turn on post notifications so you know every time i upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops and
excuse me, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on any, on uh, on this review. Did you like to like this match? Did you like to like, like did you like to like my review of the match? Let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.